Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Wolf Wraith and welcome back to our little let's play of Yonder the Cloudcatcher Chronicles. I am in or near Bobbentoff, as I mentioned I would be. I went and did a little bit of crafting here and there. You notice that I got some new pants now because I am a novice uh, tailor. And as I was making my way here, this guy kind of started speaking to me. So I'm going to talk to him because his name is Hipsterius. Hipsterius? I'm not so sure, but afterwards we're going to head over to the Moth Sanctuary. This guy says he can help us with clothing. Yeah. You look like an idiot. Hmm. Oh wow, so you can only get certain quests during certain seasons? Yeah. Hmm. Oh man, now I have to... Oh wow, so it the quest will change based on these seasons. That's so cool! Man, I wish more games had like that sort of features. Like in things like GTA could use that, you know? Like different seasons will affect the game in different ways. That would be so cool. Uh, okay, let's see if I can craft some of this stuff for this guy. Whoops, wrong button. I can't craft... I can't craft earmuffs. I can't craft any of this stuff. So I'm gonna have to buy them. Man! This is getting costly now. Okay, hang on. So what do I need? I need earmuffs, fur coat, and winter layers. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Earmuffs. Fur coat and winter layers. Thank God they're all in the same section. All right, we got this stupid scarecrow, all this crap. But I wanna, I wanna quickly, I'm gonna just uh, before we give it to him, you know, I wanna, I wanna try it. Oh, Jesus Christ, I don't want to look like that. Holy cow! Whoa, why does that look like stockings? Not stockings, um, leggings. It's kind of gross. All right, now we, we'll just take the stuff back. Okay, we'll take the stuff back. He won't know that we tried it on. Okay, as long as we don't tell him, he won't know. So we'll keep our mouth shut about it. You hear? I'm feeling a little bit tired as well. I don't know why. I just had like a cup of Milo and a banana to see if it would give me some energy because I woke up. I slept in a little bit this morning. So I was hoping that that would give me enough energy to get through the day. Apparently not. Apparently I'm just more tired. All right, Hipsterius. Easy crap. Look at you. You look like a freaking... Snowman. Fashionista? What the hell? Man! Oh, okay, so I have to come back to him every season. Alright. That's interesting. I, I like that. That's uh, It adds some dynamics, I guess. Alright, we're going to make our way to the Moth Sanctuary, and while we're on our way there, I'm going to kind of talk about some of the features. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Yeah, 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 cheat the system! Ah! No! 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 This is what I get for cheating! Um, what was I going to say? I don't know, I can't remember. Can you remind me? Yeah, 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 something about talking about some of the features that I wanted to see, because I... I emailed the devs about it, and it seems like I mentioned in the in the past video that they were they added some stuff in their in their roadmap, and some of them were suggestions that a lot of people had made, which is really good that they're they're taking that feedback into account. But uh, one feature in particular, uh, map markers, that was something that I, I've kind of wanted to see from day one. I just find it a bit bizarre being an open world game that lets you control a map. It's sort of like standard nowadays. So I find it a bit odd that they didn't add it in. Oh yeah, the journal as well. I think the journal should have like... Like if you go to the journal, yeah. Um, you can see... Oh wow, it's got all the fish I've caught. Um, you can see all the animals and stuff. I think it would have been a good idea if... It actually told you what the animal ate as well, because that would be that would actually be helpful. And telling you what um oh yeah it does actually have the size, so small, large, small, small, 
Okay, that's cool. That's all right. But yeah, at least telling you what they eat. Uh, that would have been a, a pretty good feature. And I also mentioned... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I can get a Fabbit to join me now? <gasps> oh, I'm taking you with me. Yes, we're taking you back to the farm. Forget everything else. Guys, forget everything else. Where's my farm? We have got ourselves a Fabbit. Oh my god, you move so slow. Please hurry. Can you... Can you come quicker? Jesus. Is that, is that actually how it's meant to walk? It looks like it's dying. It's like having a damn stroke or something. Holy cow. Should I be worried? Do I need to get this thing to a vet? Uh, maybe, maybe that's some information they should put in the bloody journal as well. Holy cow. Yeah, as I was saying, there needs to be an easier way to select tools. Uh, because right now it's a bit tedious. Like I, I mentioned in the email that I sent them that I found it a bit tedious. And I'm hoping that a lot of other people agree because it's just... Considering the nature of the game, there's no reason for you to always have an item like this equipped. You should be able to just like walk up to a rock and then it'll automatically pull out the the weapon for you. Can I adopt him? Can you not get through? It's semi-stuck. Okay, I'm going to quickly see if I can put down... You still here, buddy? Good, good, good. Now, how do I, how do I adopt it? Yeah, so you should be able to go up to a rock or something, and it will automatically ask you... Oh... Do you want to, like, it, it, you You should just be able to press X and it starts mining it. And the reason I suggest that is because I kind of got the idea from uh, Guild Wars 2, which I find is very nifty. Like, you, you've got your tools, so you've, pretty much like this, you've got your, you've got your axe, you've got your sickle, and then you've got your mining pick. Um, obviously, you've got your, uh, your hammer and your fishing rod in this one as well. But what makes it simple is that you have those equipped, and once you have them equipped... You can just go up to like a rock, or you can go up to a tree, or you can go up to, um, what is it? Oh my god, look at it sleep. Um, sorry, I'm getting distracted here. There's this adorable animals and stuff, I can't help it. Uh, yeah, you go up to, you go up to them, and you just press the interact button, and it just animates the, like the, the harvesting and collecting and all that sort of stuff, so that's really cool. There's something else here, like I should be out there should be a take all button for this chest, that would come in handy. But you know, something a little like that, because it's, it's just a bit, I don't know, I find it a bit unnecessary to have to select the item before you interact with it, it's just redundant. Because there's no combat, so you don't need to have, like, anything else equipped, it just, it just adds a bit of inconvenience. I also think there should be the ability to swim. Like, for some bizarre reason, some people disagreed. I was looking through the the stuff they were talking about. Obviously, you have people commenting on it and shit. And some people were like, nah, adding swimming would make it like a different game or something. That's kind of why when I emailed the devs about it, I suggested that they make the swimming like a certain distance. Like, you can only swim to a certain point. See, like, right here, I should be able to just interact with it. Why do I have to go and freaking select the weapon every goddamn time? Bloody pain. Yeah, because swimming... I have died a few times. On accident. Because I couldn't swim. And if you're wondering how the hell do you die on accident, well, the answer is quite simple. Um, you go into the water by accident, and then you drown. Because it was unintentional. Like, you know, going in there to drown on purpose is one thing, but then drowning unintentionally... I have no idea where I'm going with this, so I'm just going to shut up now. Uh, hiring farmhands as well. Uh, one of the things that I found a little bit annoying was that you couldn't just give them multiple items at a time. Like, you you had to pick the one and then continue to go back and forth. Okay, let's see if I can, I can clear this merc here. Oh, yes. I've got nine out of seven. I also switched my sprite over. I'm going to switch them out here and there if I find one that uh, that looks more interesting than another. Ooh. Oh, hey, it's a sprite. Wow, you look adorable. Uh. 
What sort of flowers do you need? Oh, yeah, sure. I'll go and collect these flowers. Look at me being a, a hard-working traveler. Yeah, I'm just going to go over here and collect the flowers. Oh, look, I'm back. Look, look at all the trouble I went through to collect all these flowers for you, the little sprite man thing. See? <laughs> Two days? Mate! You know how long I spent gathering all that stuff? Like two seconds. You crook. I may as well have a look around here. Made me come all the way down here and then wait two days. Man! Ah, at least the days don't take that long. Uh, I guess in the meantime, I'm kicking my microphone. That's what I'm doing in the meantime. Um, uh, I was going to say, in the meantime, we'll go and explore a little bit and see if I can do some other quests. Spinning wheel? How do I use it? Is there a way for me to use it in this thing? Add some fluff. Okay. That's a really weird thing. Oh, man. Sometimes this game... It's so relaxing, but so distracting. Hey there, buddy. I wish I could pat them while they were out in the fields and stuff. And make things more interesting. I kind of forgot what I was saying when I... And then I, until I got rid of that thing. Whoa! Jesus, you scared the crap out of me. What is that? Is that a person? The hell are you doing out all the way over here? Yeah. Oh, it's the fisherman. Okay, what's his name? Oh, he doesn't have a name. I was going to say, if his name was like Hunt Rex or something like that, that'd be like a reference and a half. But no, that was a missed opportunity. Ah, uh, disappointed prideful sloth. I'm disappointed. Supposed to be Aussies as well. <laughs> uh, for those of you who don't know, Rex Hunt was like a famous fishing guy. Had his own TV show here. Hence the reason one of the last episodes I had was called... Uh, uh, what was it? Wolf Wraith's Fishing Adventures? Uh, originally the show was called Rex Hunt's Fishing Adventures. I fell down a level. Man, why? All of the merc... Ooh, I've cleared it all. Now I have to walk all the way around again. Yay. Okay, so I can interact. I'm going to take a guess that this is the bridge. Let's do it. I wonder how I built that. How did I get across the other side to build it? Uh, let's bring this up. Okay, so this will kind of make trekking a little bit easier, I guess. That's nice. That's nice. Is it just me or is there a noise coming through here? Oh, it's the waterfall. Uh, I just realized I probably should have stopped by the farm before coming. Ah, oh, man. All right. Let's, let's stop by the farm. Oh, we can do some fishing. This is a good little fishing spot. I ain't gonna give up. I'm gonna see what sort of giant fish. Holy cow! I'm gonna say I'm gonna see what sort of giant fish I can catch. Jesus. This is a tough one. Oh, it's a tough one. Oh, yeah, I've got him. Wow, it's a princess fish. 23 centimeters. Alright, dip fish. Dip shit. Oh, yes, the tree. The tree grew. Mad. I can chop it down if I want, but I don't want to because I kind of want it to be like the center of attention for the farm, you know? And I want to have another one. I'm going to plant another one here. I just have to go back to that place. I'm going to get some mysterious seeds like, like these ones here first and then go back to that place and get one more. Bushel, you crook. This animal care isn't going too well. Oh, okay, so just by having a tree here, it actually produces wood for me. That's interesting. That's, uh, that's something good to know. Alright, let's head back to Bob and Toff now. I've forgotten what I was heading there for, though. 
because <laughs> I got so distracted by everything else. Everything else is so distracting. Okay, now we're back here. Uh, I want to talk to you. You look like a person I can talk to. Ooh. Oh, well, it's cozy, Ooh. yeah. So what did you give me? You're kidding me. That's your super duper cutie reward? Hair? Man. Yeah, let's talk to this uh, raggedy hobo looking chick. Wretched fur bag. The hell are you talking about? You mean the dog here? Fine Scruffy, yeah. He's right here. What to do about Scruffy? What do you want me to do about Scruffy? Maybe I'll talk to her? Holy cow! You need a doctor, there's bloody water leaking out your eyes. Jesus Christ! Ooh. Okay, I'm- oh, I gotta make a toy cat. How do I make it, though? Okay, I need yarn. How do I make yarn? I need fluff. How do I make fluff? How do I make fluff? Is, is there a way for me to make fluff? Please? How do I make fluff? I'm gonna have to buy it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to buy the fluff. Had to be after I traded in everything, huh? Fuck me. Okay, I need a- I need a- I need a Hadub- Barry or whatever it is. And I'm gonna not craft it because I need the fish to do that. Alright, we crafted it. Now we're going to speak to... Oh, Zoe is her name. Okay. Oh my god, he's tearing it apart. Look at him. Look at him going nuts there. It's like a... It's like a demonic dog. I love that. Look at her eyes. The way her eyes just sort of... <laughs> looked over to the corner. Like, what's this... What's this crazy dog doing? Oh? Yeah, sure, I can do that. It's old lady Beckett. She doesn't look very old. It says I discovered... I discovered a toy. Do I get to keep it? Okay, so I bought some clothes as well. And, whoa! That actually looks really cool. I am glad I bought that. I am very, very glad I bought that. I'm gonna keep... Is this, it looks a little bit... Feminine, though. <laughs> I'm not I'm not too sure about that. It says striker's fur. But it looks so good. And then there's the scribe wraps. That looks like a coat, but it makes me look tubby. And then there's the adventurous coat. I don't know man. I kinda like this this It does look really weird. But I'm still shivering. Maybe I need to maybe I need to get some other types of clothing that keeps me warm. Like this top hat. Yeah. Alright, whatever. Let's talk to the old lady. I've bored you guys enough with that. Oh, so that's why you have to collect all the cats. Oh, I get it now. I'm going to take a guess that if I collect all of them, they're going to live inside this yarn like I saw in a picture on um on Twitter. 
All right. That's uh that's interesting. Now as as I did in the previous episode, I'm going to going to pop this here. I'm going to pop this here and go boom. Going to end this video. Oh, you can't see it because it's too bright. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this. Uh I enjoyed I enjoyed playing it for you. I am not going to go through the effort of finding those uh 55 cats because that is that sounds like a very tedious and painful thing to do. Um, hang on, I can select something here. Why is it- why is it saying traitor? Why are you just saying traitor? That's annoying. Anyways! Yeah, I'm gonna end that one here. Thank you guys so much for watching. As usual, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you in the next video.